gosh! What an incredible view! It's just like a postcard. Oh, I can't believe we're really here in the land of the pyramids. <clears throat> it says here, the Nile River is the very lifeline of Egypt. If it were not for this majestic river and the silk-rich waters she brings from the heart of the African continent, there would be no farms, no trade, no pyramids. And no holiday. Well, my old friend, I wonder if I've found you at last. The great Pharaoh Ramindas, richest and most powerful of all the kings of the Nile. <laughs> You're a man after my own heart. Your foolish subjects even believed you had the power to control the mighty Nile. <laughs> Tugger! Let's pick up the pace, old chap. It's getting hot out here. Give me somewhat of a hand, you lazy old cover lard. We'd have been done hours ago. <sighs> right, Sir Humphrey, not long now. I'm sure we're almost there, sir. Shivering sarcophagi. Stand Ooh. aside, let me see. <gasps> At last. Hmm, what have we here? No. Would it be true? <laughs> oh, thank you, my friend. This will be perfect. <laughs> I'll never dig another hole as long as I... Tugger! Put that loop down. Leave everything. There's been a change of plan. But, but sir, surely we ain't got to leave empty-handed after all that digging. I... Just do as I say. This tablet may be the key to a power greater than even I had ever imagined. We have to make a small side trip. Close the tunnel! What? But uh, uh, begging your lordship's pardon, all that stuff about that Ramindar's fella controlling the Nile, just a load of shades of the Sphinx. It's true! <laughs> so this is how Ramindas controlled the mighty Nile. <laughs> now that we alone know Ramindas' secret, all of his riches will be ours. You mean we can go back and get the loot now? Don't be a fool. Now we shall go and announce the greatest archaeological find of the century and turn the entire treasure in to the proper authorities. Except for this, of course. <laughs> Hmm, what shall we do today? Really, dear, this past week has been such a whirlwind. Perhaps we could just relax today? <laughs> I think we've seen everything in Dad's guidebook. Hmm, a display of the magnificent treasures from the tomb of Ramindas. Well, well, we are lucky. The grand opening is this very afternoon. Off we go. When we get back to Nutwood, we'll need a holiday to recover from our holiday. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> hey! Who? Yeah! A Bendigo bad boy. I'm afraid he thinks your scarf would make a tasty midday snack. I am Yasuf, at your service. Rupert Bear, at your service. A Bendigo and I give the Kasbah the smoothest camel rides. To make amends, we will now take you for a free ride across the desert dunes, yes? Gosh, that would be great! Rupert! Hurry along, son! The exhibit opens in just a few minutes! But perhaps another time. Ah, you are going to see the amazing treasures of Remindas? Yes! Would you care to come along? <laughs> I will have to come later. It is well past Abendigo's lunchtime. Yes, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, my friends, thank you. As you know, I've spent many months far from the comforts of civilization, and <laughs> I've spent a large portion of my own personal fortune on my quest to find the long-lost tomb of the great pharaoh, Ramindas. Oh, I see it now. He's going to ask them for a pretty penny just to lay their eyes on all that loot. And my share of But, be... 
I ask for nothing in return. What? The pleasure of donating these important artifacts to the good people of this fair city is reward enough. <laughs> This is interesting. Oh my, it is wonderful. Gosh, it's dazzling. Legend says that the great Pharaoh Ramindaz had the power to control the Nile. Superstitious nonsense, I can assure you. Sir Humphrey, you mean you don't believe in the legend? Well, certainly not, my boy. Neither do I give credence to the so-called revenge of Ramindaz. The revenge of Ramindaz? What's that? Well. It has been said that Ramindas has vowed that should his tomb ever be disturbed, he will return from beyond to stop the mighty Nile from flowing. Gosh, oh, dear! I would never let such silly fables deter my scientific pursuits. The revenge of Ramindas is merely an ancient bedtime story meant to frighten little children. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the exhibit, my friends. And now, if you will excuse me, an associate awaits. My plan is working perfectly. What was that? Hey, what are you... Shh! I am Aji, Inspector General of Antiquities. I thought you were a thief. Or a spy. I'm Rupert. Rupert Bear. Um, from Nutwood. Terribly sorry to have startled you, Rupert, but I am here to make an inventory of the Ramondas artifacts, and it is necessary that I do so secretively. You see, many of our national treasures have gone missing in the past, and Sir Humphrey Pumphrey always seems to be nearby when it happens. Sir Humphrey? But he's donating the entire treasure. Yes, a remarkable case of a leopard changing his spots, which only serves to make me even more suspicious. Well, Rupert, what shall we do today? Yasu! What on earth is going on? An emergency meeting at the town hall! There is a national crisis! Why? What's happened? The worst of all tragedies to ever befall us! The mighty Nile has run dry! I don't oh, believe dear. it. Oh no! It's the revenge of Ramindas! Ramindas oh, Ramindas is Ramindas angry! Ramindas is angry! Ramindas My friends! I humbly admit that I have misjudged the power of Ramindas. But please, I ask you to remain calm. There is a way to reverse this horrible catastrophe. Oh, now I see. Here's where Sir Humphrey will demand a fortune to get the river flowing again. <laughs> and that is to replace the treasures in the tomb and seal it forever. What? I'm a hero, soon to be a filthy rich hero. <laughs> I'm afraid there isn't enough water for everyone. Rupert, I know of a small oasis in the desert. With luck, it is still flowing. That's great, Yasuf. We'll bring back as much water as we can carry. Oh. Now I see why a camel is called the ship of the desert. Ah, Rupert, you are feeling a little seasick, no? Yes. I hope this ship finds a harbor soon. Here we are, Rupert. You made it. This isn't bad once you're... Ah! <laughs> I think I'll need a cushion for the ride home. You're as clumsy as a six-legged camel. Shh! It may be bandits. Well, sorry, sir. All this waiting around has made me a little edgy. There they go, Tugger. Returning all that treasure back to its rightful owner. Me! <laughs> it's the perfect crime, Tugger. And I owe it all to my old friend Ramindas. <laughs> Put this away and be careful. 
We wouldn't want anything to happen to it until my plan is complete. Would have been better off if we never found this thing. It should have been long gone by now. What do you suppose is on that tablet? I don't know. But I'm sure Inspector RG would like to take a look at it. Quickly, Abednego! We must... Oh, no! He's wandered off! Lose something, boys. This filthy beast was dining out on my very expensive sunshade. Bad boy, Abednego! A thousand pardons, sir, and thank you for returning my camel. What are you boys doing here? We were just, uh, having a picnic. I'm sure your mothers have taught you boys to share. Well, well. I've heard of rock cakes, but this is ridiculous. Run! Come yeah! here! That's the last of it. Get everyone clear. Right on schedule. Off we go, Tugami boy. How treasure awaits us. about these two? Don't worry. I know a perfect little out-of-the-way spot where we can put them. <laughs> Help! Somebody! <laughs> Surely you can see the elegance of my plan, Tugger. Now, we simply help ourselves to all the treasure. Every last little bijou. Let's get to it. Now, that's what I call elegant, all right. For a minute there, you had me worried you'd gone... Ah! They've sealed it up. You know what to do. Well, I know what to do. The question is, do you? <laughs> He's flipped his wig, that's what. <sighs> There's no time for lollygagging, Tugger. Get the treasure loaded. <sighs> Should have done this <sighs> the first time. <sighs> Could have been here, yeah, lounging on a beach somewhere. Here. Let us go! Release us this instant! Well, Rumming Dust, old friend, what do you say to a little trade? In exchange for your entire fortune, you can keep these two troublemakers forever! <laughs> oh, load it up! And now, to put an end to the revenge of Rumming Dust. Seal it up, and we'll be on our way. And move quickly. I want the Nile flowing again by morning. But, Sir Humphrey, why don't we just forget all that? We got the loot. Let's take it and run. And the authorities would find the looted tomb and track us down in a matter of days. But if we seal it up and set the Nile flowing again, no one will ever dare reopen this tomb lest the revenge of Ramindas should strike again. The treasure is ours. And no one will ever know it is even missing. I have planned the perfect crime. <laughs> perfect crime, my eye. Me doing all this digging. Now that's a crime. It's no use. Rupert, what did he mean, put an end to the revenge of Ramondas? What could those two have to do with stopping the Nile from flowing? I'm not sure. But this tablet may have something to tell us. Can you decipher it, Yasuf? Hmm, only a bit of it. It appears to be some type of riddle. In the nest of the scorpion, 
seek the foot of the jackal, then something about a cave. If we can solve this riddle, we'll know what Sir Humphrey is up to. And that should be about as easy as finding fish in the desert. Hurry, Tugger, no time to waste. We are doomed, Rupert. Not even Ramadaz himself could help us now. <gasps> or could he? Look! Up there! It's the moon shining through an air shaft. Uh, that's it, Yasuf! Keep going! We made it! Good boy, Bendigo. I knew he would follow us. Look, over there, tire tracks. But how will we ever catch them? Don't worry, Rupert. When it comes to crossing the trackless desert sands, we have a great advantage. We do? Let's show him, a Bendigo. Hang on, Rupert. Whoa! I wanted to stay up when the sand is firm, but oh no, drive in the riverbed, he says. The Nile will cover our track, he says. You see, Rupert, no man-made contraption is a match for Mother Nature's ship of the desert. Well done, Abed... Abendigo? Oh no, look! What? It's that confounded camel. What's it doing here? I'll take care of him. Abendigo! Look out! What? This way, Abendigo! Run! How did they get out from under all that rock? Unhitch the convoy! The treasure? Stop whining! Those boys are the only witnesses. We can't let them get away. Here! Go, Abendigo! Yeah! Oh no! Dead end! Hang on, Rupert! Whoa! Rupert! Ugh. <gasps> We've got you! Ah! Hooray for a Bendigo! <laughs> Rupert, look! I know where we are! That's good, Yasuf, because I haven't the slightest idea. This valley is called the Scorpion's Nest. The nest of the scorpion, mentioned in the riddle on the tablet. It's said to look for the foot of the jackal. Do you see any jackals? Rupert, see the shadows from the hills? The second one looks like a jackal. The foot of the jackal must mean the base of that hill. Just a little further, Abendigo. Somewhere in this cave is the key to Sir Humphrey's plan. This must be the place. It's Ramin does. What's he doing here so far from home? <gasps> Unbelievable! Can it be? It, it's the source of the Nile. Sir Humphrey must have found this and turned it off. Brilliant deduction. <gasps> but unfortunately for you, we have to make sure you don't let the authorities in on our little secret. Now, Yasuf! You. Uh, <laughs> Quick thinking, Rupert. It was about time those two cleaned up their act. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, well, the fishing is quite excellent this morning. <laughs> Thank you both for helping me catch a couple of whoppers. You're welcome, Inspector. Our pleasure. Ah, uh, there you are, son. Up rather early this morning, aren't you? Mum, Dad, I'd like you to meet my friend Yasuf. He and his camel give rides to tourists in the Kasbah. I was wondering what to do today. Perhaps we could hire Yasuf's camel and go for a ride. I'm sorry, Mr. Bear, but we'll have to go another day. I'm afraid a Bendigo is out of order. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Rupert? Should I trade him in for a motor car? Never! <laughs>